Hi. Um, you haven't heard from me for over a month, and uh, there's a reason for that. I've been sick pretty much all six months. Uh, the last week I spent at my friend Allison's house, and <clears throat> I was able to recover somewhat of my health. Uh, when I got there, I was at uh, 168 pounds, and uh, from from a high of, I don't know what it was before, 210 before uh, last summer, and uh, basically I've been steadily losing weight due to an illness from uh, somewhere at the middle of September until uh, last week. The, the allergists and the specialists that I went to, I went to 33 doctors, um, or 33 times, I went to like nine doctors, said that uh, it was an allergen. And they didn't know what that one allergen was until I found trying to clean the car because it seemed that the car was the one thing that was making me sick. My brother's <coughs> cologne was in the car. For those who don't know about my crazy allergies, I have crazy allergies to smells. I have crazy allergies to certain foods. Uh, one time I was in the hospital for four days because I had an allergy to orange flavored gum that uh, made me have to go to the hospital for five days. And uh, because of something called natural flavorings, I have to always watch for this when I eat new things because if I don't, um, what will happen is I start with hives and then I go into anaphylactic shock, and uh, basically I die. I died twice last year. <laughs> um, you know, if I don't get to the hospital in time, I will choke to death. Uh, it's basically all of your your throat muscles and your uh, bronchi all squeezing at once. Thankfully, with my food allergies. I am able to take uh, things like Benadryl and uh, things like uh, epinephrine so that I do not die. And uh, for those of you who've never been through anaphylactic shock or ever seen anyone, it's just basically, it, it kind of is like what they show on TV. Mine is a little different. I turn all red. I get like hives all over. Um, I start itching my head because it's just so itchy. And then... Um, I go, <laughs> <coughs> sorry, and uh, I fell down. Uh, the last time that I fell down last year, uh, uh, no one was in the house, but my I had was able to call the ambulance before I collapsed. So uh, the door was open, thankfully, and uh, they closed everything and everything, and uh, I was in the hospital for a few days. That being said, um, those are my normal allergies. This this kind of allergy is, is sort of different because it's uh, allergy of uh, people's smells. So the cologne, uh, every day that when my brother came home, he would bring some cologne inside and I would literally start coughing, even if I was sleeping, and I would throw up. Now, I think that his room is impregnated with that smell um, and there's no way that I can get away from it and so basically for the last two months after the car has been cleaned um, I'm still suffering from it I'm coughing <coughs> it seems less bad that if I stay away from my room and go downstairs and, and such but um, there's nothing I can really do maybe clean my brother's room but I can't uh, it, it caused me to lose over 70 pounds because every day I threw 60 pounds and uh, I'm happy to say I am at a healthy 172 I gained a little over five pounds four pounds whatever um, and it was healthy weight gain because it was just me eating food uh, I found out that I can't eat a lot of meat without getting sick but that's all right with me I don't eat that much meat anyway only probably once per day once per uh, yeah, once per day so that's not that bad of a, a problem for me 
my problem is that in at night especially because i think that uh he's uh pushing at the dust or moving it around i get really sick and can't breathe uh, uh, there's nothing nowhere i can go this i can go probably to a few friends house and stay for a while but there's not, literally nothing I can do. Uh, uh, I'm trapped. I feel kind of alone. And there's... Where am I gonna go? Stay here and die. Go couch surf everywhere and live. And I don't have the resources right now to be able to move out. I don't... If I had had if I had a job or if I had one I, I had a job interview I don't know if anything's gonna happen with it that I could easily move out and then I could easily go out by myself and it's not that wouldn't be a problem my problem is I have no resources I have no way to get out and nowhere to go and if I'm stuck here not being able to breathe and slowly losing weight the doctor says that I will probably die within the next year or so uh, <clears throat> I depend on this to be able to breathe at night and it's uh, dive and hydrana hydramamine HCI it's, uh, supposed to be sleep aid but it's also Benadryl and so long as I swallow very prestigious amounts of it, I'm able to breathe, at least in the morning. And then at night, well, bets are all bets. Because I don't know what to do. <coughs> I tried to make this video before I left, and the only thing I could do was cough. I'm coughing now, and um, the whole this whole area is, like, stuffed up and weird and... I'm not sure what I'm going to do. What can I do? I think I could live in my car. But I have nowhere to go. No resources to go there. And, uh... Life seems pretty hopeless right now. I can't... I'm not socially mobile. I can't afford to go out. Uh, I don't go out. I just watch TV and I, I read stuff on the internet and I don't do anything. It scares the crap out of me that I can't... I can't breathe. <clears throat> At night, I literally cannot breathe. I wake up tired, and I wake up groggy, and I wake up like I haven't slept in years. And... It's so frustrating. What am, where can I go? What can I do? I can go to, like, a relief shelter. I have a home. I just can't live in my home. There are times that I just want, I feel like I just want to go back being homeless and depending on other people because it's just, I can't live here without knowing that I'm going to die. And it's really depressing. I literally can't live. I'm not sure that you're going to get anything from me for quite a long time. Uh, there's nothing that I can do at this moment that uh, will help the situation. I just hope for your prayers, your good thoughts, your goodwill, because I 
I don't have very much hope in the future. It's kind of like it's disappeared. Like it never was there. And, uh, it's pretty bleak. Pretty bleak. When you think that the best thing that you could do is sleep in your car. Sleep in the woods. Sleep outside. Because <coughs> <coughs> you can't stay inside. 